Hi, cutie pies. I am Lanikia, and you're watching What Happened on the Soaps. This is um, Days of Our Lives edition. Today is Monday, November the 27th, 2023. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'm going to give this one a solid 8. Um, Y'all, I'm having internet um, problems this, this morning, so no clips today because the app keeps, it keeps chopping the episode up, so I had to film it on a different app. Um, let's go ahead and get into this. We see, why did I want to say Carly? <laughs> we see Ava and um, Stefan. Now he's going to her because they need to figure out who's going to go in this evidence room. She said, I don't want to do it. He said, I don't want to do it either. They said, well, which one of us is going to do this? Because it has to be done. So they flip a coin and she ends up winning. So he has to be the one to go in the evidence room and steal that evidence, you know, that Clyde is wanting them to take. She was like, I stole the key. He said, I made the copies. And, you know, and it's my face that's going to show me making the copies of his um, of his keys. And she said, well, you should have wore a mask. I don't know what to tell you. But anyways, he ends up having to do it. Yeah. So then we go over here and we see Harris is trying to talk to Leo and get him to flip on Demetri. But, you know, Leo is staying strong. And he says, well, is your lawyer coming? He said, she's busy right now, but... You know, whether she comes or not, I'm still not going to flip. So it is what it is. So then Harris goes and talks to Jada <clears throat> and he tells her he can't, Mila, he tells her he can't find his key. And she says, um, no, I, she, he asks, has she seen it? She says, no, but I'm sure it'll show up. And then she asks him, how's it going with Leo? And he tells her um, that with Leo, hold on. He tells her that with Leo, he is, um, not budging he still won't give Demetri up she said do you mind if i take a crack at him i said well you already have talked to him harris has talked to him and rafe has talked to him the man is not going to give Demetri up but he she went out in there and tried to talk to him so at this point ava comes up and she has something for harris and i say she gonna pretend she got his giving his keys back but no she brought him um some thanksgiving dinner because it's still thanksgiving and um she's had to um, excuse me, it's still Thanksgiving and she's cooked and everything and he he's working a long shift and can't be off so she brings him his meal and he thanks her for that and everything but then he gets a um, then he gets a phone call from Rafe and Rafe lets him know that he spoke to EJ and EJ is um, not going to press charges EJ is not going to press charges on Ava he's going to drop it in so of course, she's thankful and she wants to run and go tell Trip. And he, he's like, okay. And she thanks him for everything he's done for her. So then we see Jada goes in here and she tries to talk to Leo. <clears throat> and she tells him, like, if you could call Dimitri and hey, because she said, you're a little fish. And he said, excuse me. And she said, you're the little, you, we want the big fish, not you. So if you can call Dimitri, set him up to meet you somewhere. We'll come out, bust him, and then you can go free. Well, Leo said, first of all, I take offense to be caught being called little fish, little fish. And he said, second of all, no, I'm not going to do it. And she said, and Leo, stop with all this like cutesiness and and making cracking jokes. You're in big trouble. And he says, I might be in big trouble, but I'm not turning on my man. And that's just all it is to it. So she said, OK, then. Um, and then she gets a notification. So she has to leave. Right. And the next thing we see, Stefan is in this dark room and it's the evidence room. He's trying to steal this evidence that Clyde wanted because remember he had a drug dealer get busted. So he's trying to steal the evidence and Jada has to go in there and look for some other evidence. And so Stefan ends up hiding out, trying to, you know, hide away from Jada. And so she goes in and she gets what she needs and she leaves Stefan in the room because she, of course, she doesn't see him. So he's able to grab the evidence that Clyde is wanting. Jada goes back to uh, Leo and tells him, this is your last chance. You want to give up um, Dimitri or not? And he tells her, no, ma'am, I'm not giving him up. So that's it with them, y'all. So then um, Stefan goes back to Ava and she says, did you get it? And he says, yes. She said, did you get all of it? He said, listen, I almost got caught. If I didn't get all of it, it's not going to be got. I got what I, <laughs> I got what I think is all of it. And they said, okay, so what are we going to do with this now that we have it? Because, you know, it's drugs. So she's like, so what are we going to do with this now that we have it? Mama. 
So then moving right along, they don't know. We'll find out, I guess, in the next few days. So moving right along, y'all remember Demetri came to Sloan's door on Friday. And she was like, Demetri, what are you doing here? He said, I'm here because, girl, you hate Nicole that much. And she said, what you talking about? He said, you killed that woman's baby because Leo is being charged for murder. You're supposed to be helping my man and you're not. And she says, I am going to help Leo. And she says, I didn't, I didn't kill Nicole's baby. She said, um... The baby had internal injuries and stuff, and the baby died. And he went to looking around, and he, she, he saw that bear, that blue bear she had in her hand. He said, it's funny that the baby died, and all of a sudden, you your apartment is full of baby stuff. And he was like, no, Sloan. And she was like, yes, I kept the baby. Because she tried to deny it um, or whatever and tell him that, you know, Melinda was there, and that's why she was there with him, because she helped her, um, was helping her adopt. And Melinda brought their baby over today, and he said, girl, please. That is Nicole's baby. And she said, okay, fine. It is Nicole's baby. What do you want? He said, I want you to help Leo. And then he also told her he was about to call the police because he was like, I'm, they think this baby is dead and this baby is very much alive. And she says, no, don't call the police. I'll help Leo what, you know, get him out of this mess and everything. And then she tried to justify why she did it. Now, Sloan really didn't want to keep the baby at first, but now she's knee deep in it. So, girl, you're wrong for it. And Demetri was like, you're, you're definitely wrong. But Demetri, you know better because you're not trying to uh, get a baby back to Nicole either. As a matter of fact, he said, I don't care if my um, uncle and his wife raised this baby or not what i care about is leo and him going to prison for a baby that they think is dead that's not and she says i'm gonna get him, your boyfriend out of this um and then y'all leave town and never come back again he said fine he said but in the meantime i need some money i said sloan and melinda just got all this cash on them and i barely have a dollar like i'm i'm i need to stop doing that but I have everything, you know, electronic. And I'm like, they just have this cash on them. So she gives him some money and tell him, get out of here before Eric leaves. And he says, let's shake on it. So they shake on it that she's going to help Leo. And then he ends up leaving, right? And so then we see, um, now, EJ had went into the pub to get Nicole her sliders. To get Nicole her sliders. And he sees Wraith in there. And he's like, oh, a lonely Thanksgiving meal or whatever. And I said, EJ, your baby just died. <laughs> you like, this is still EJ. But he's just like, um, a lonely Thanksgiving dinner and all of this. And and Rafe tells him he's sorry about his uh, child. And he says, what I need you to do is find Demetri. He said, I got my best detectives on it and we're looking. And so then Rafe says, um, what about Ava? So remember earlier, Rafe called Harris and told him Ava was going to be set free. But so he's, this is when EJ tells him um, she was she's accused of killing someone. And Rafe said, well, all the evidence is pointing to this self-defense. And she had no reason to want Gil gone. And so he, that's when EJ was just like, whatever, you know, I'll let her go off this one. And so they was like, okay. So then Eric is outside with Nicole. And when Nicole sees, Nicole asks him, um, is this your baby? And he says, yes. And she was like, can I hold him? And he, at first he was hesitant and she was like, no, I just, I feel like if I hold, held him, it would help her, you know, get or help her to get over the loss of her baby. So at first he was hesitant, but then he was like, okay, yeah, go ahead. And so when he gives the baby, she's just holding a baby. You could tell like, she's just happy for Eric. And then she looks at the baby and she remembers the car accident and she was like, oh my gosh, this is my baby. And so then Nicole was just like adamant that this is my baby, which we all know it is. But um, Eric was like, Nicole, this isn't your baby. So at this point, EJ comes out and he says, Nicole, what, what's going on? And Eric says, Nicole thinks this is her baby, thinks this is her baby. So EJ and Eric both start talking to her. Y'all, if y'all don't get to watch this episode, you need to watch it. It was a beautiful scene. Um, click the link. But he just tells her, this, this is not your baby um like it was a sad episode but nicole's acting in this is has been great but anyways they both tell her nicole this isn't your baby i know you want this to be your baby and she said no ej this is my baby i gave birth to him i know my baby this is my baby and they're like no nicole is not the and he tells her this is eric's baby and he was like you know you're our baby eric adopted this child because logically it doesn't make sense you know what i mean because they know their baby passed and they know eric them adopted a baby so 
for her to think it would be her baby, logically that wouldn't make sense. And they was like, we know you've been through a lot and this is just your mind. And she was like, you know, and so even though it's her baby, they convinced her that it's not. And she's like, Eric, I'm so sorry. So she's apologizing, I'm apologizing. And Eric tells her, no, Nicole, I understand it's okay. And then she keeps apologizing and EJ says, Nicole, it's okay. I'm sure Eric understands. And Eric was like, of course I do. And so EJ said, let me take you home. So he takes her home and um, she leaves, you know, she leaves with EJ. Uh-oh. Um, I talked all through that. Anyways, and so then Rafe comes out and he was like, oh, is it is everything all right? And, and Eric was like, yeah, it's okay. And then he said, oh my gosh, is this your baby? So he couldn't go. They congratulated each other and all that. And he was like, but everything didn't look okay when I came out. And so Eric told him about Nicole thinking it was her baby. And he said, man, that's just sad. And, you know, and he was like, yeah. And they just both wish, you know, the best for Nicole because it's just a sad moment. So then Eric ends up going home, right? And when he goes home, um, he tells Sloan about what went down with Nicole. And she was like, what did you say to her? He said, we finally convinced her that it wasn't her baby and, and everything. And Sloan is just like, oh, that's too bad. And all that. Knowing you keeping this woman baby. Now, listen, I can like somebody because y'all know Sloan is my, one of my favorites. But I can like them and still say, girl, you wrong for this. And Sloan, you are wrong for this. But some of y'all be like, well, Nicole has done it before. So it is what it is. <laughs> Let's move on. So then we see um, Harris and Rafe meet up and Rafe gives Harris back his keys because he said it was downstairs. You know, someone um, dropped him off downstairs and he said, found him downstairs. He said, I don't remember being down there, but OK. And Rafe says, maybe you didn't um, drop them and somebody just turned them in. Mm -hmm. And so Harris is just like, huh, Harris is not buying it because like I was telling y'all in the other video, He's very organized and he, you know, he's on top of his thing. And so him just losing his keys, that don't make sense. Um, so anyways, EJ takes Nicole home and she apologizes again. And he said, Nicole, it's fine. Um, I'm sure you don't want these sliders now. You're probably not hungry, but let me go and make you some tea. And I'm going to put the sliders up for later. And she said, okay. So he tells her, you know, and she just tells him, I thought this was, that was my baby. He said, well, you only held the baby for a minute. So it's okay. It's understandable that you would want that to be your baby. Um, and she said, yeah, okay. And so EJ leaves out and Nicole is just like, she's sitting there on that couch. She looked a little too comfortable to say this, but okay, I'm gonna go with it. She's sitting there on that couch laid out or whatever. And she's like, I don't care what they say. That's my baby. That is my baby. I said, ma'am, I would be up in arms. We're finna do a test. We're about to do a test. I don't know. But anyways, y'all, that was Days of Our Lives today. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you tomorrow for an all-new episode of What Happened on the Soaps Days of Our Lives edition. Now, guys, um, I will be doing some changes to my channel. Um, so I, I actually upgraded um, my internet. Um, I haven't installed it yet, but I've upgraded my internet because I'm hoping if I upgrade, then that'll help with some of the issues that I'm experiencing. So there'll be a few changes to my channel starting this week. Um, so after tomorrow, it'll look a little bit different, but it's still going to be me doing these reviews. It's just going to look a little bit different. So anyways, thank you guys so much for um, watching and I will see you tomorrow for all new episodes. Um, be safe, be blessed. <clears throat> Goodbye. What are we clapping about?